The recovery and repair process after a workout is just as important as the workout itself. During your workout, you'll create tiny tears in your muscles, and ultimately the goal is to have your muscles come back stronger and bigger as they heal. However, the only way that you'll reap the benefits from your workout and build muscle is by providing your body the resources it needs to recover. And there's no doubt that some options are significantly better than others post-workout. So I want to give you guys 10 of the best foods that you should have after a workout. And the first category that I'm going to list some options for is, of course, protein. It's essential to consume protein around your workouts because the amino acids found in protein are the building blocks to your muscles. In fact, building muscle is all about creating a positive protein turnover rate, which literally means that your body has to add more amino acids to a muscle than the amount that gets broken down regularly. Now, most of you have probably already heard of the anabolic window, which is a myth that suggests that you need to get your protein shake in as fast as possible after a workout. Even though it's not true that you need to take in protein immediately after a workout, it is a good guideline to try to get at least a minimum of 20 grams of protein within an hour and a half of finishing your workout. Keep in mind, if you happen to train in a fasted state like I do, it's better to have that protein sooner rather than later because there'll be fewer amino acids circulating throughout your body since you didn't eat any protein before your workout. On the other hand, if you did eat and you had a lot of protein before your workout, you can probably get away with extending that time frame even past the hour and a half mark. But taking down protein within that hour and a half after finishing your workout is generally a good guideline to aim for. So the first and one of the best protein sources post-workout is whey protein. Whey is a fast digesting protein source which is especially beneficial if you train on an empty stomach. That's because it'll digest quickly and cause a rapid spike in amino acids that'll quickly become available for your body to use for muscle repair and recovery. So as a result, whey protein will stimulate protein synthesis which is the buildup of new muscle fibers and it'll do it faster than slower digesting protein sources like casein. The best part about whey protein is that it's one of the world's best sources of leucine, which happens to be the most important amino acid for muscle growth. This is because leucine activates mTOR, which is the primary muscle building pathway in the human body. That's why simply having a whey protein shake can be an excellent post-workout protein source, especially if you're short on time. Now, even though casein isn't the best protein source if you train fasted, it still has a similar nutrition profile to whey. However, casein does have other qualities that may make it an even better choice if you don't train on an empty stomach. This is because whey is actually not as effective as casein at preventing muscle protein breakdown. And remember, to build muscle, we want to do both reduce muscle protein breakdown and increase muscle protein synthesis. Casein may also be more beneficial for fat loss due to the fact that it digests slower. This helps you feel full for longer. In a study where they compared people that took either a casein supplement, a whey supplement, or a placebo after weight training, the researchers found that not only did the casein group experience more than double the amount of muscle growth compared to the whey protein group, but they also lost twice the amount of fat. So for all of you that have a pre-workout meal and that don't train fasted, you may want to take a closer look at casein instead of whey post-workout. Now, since casein and whey are both good choices post-workout, it should come as no surprise that milk is also a great option. This is because both casein and whey are derived from cow's milk. And based on the available research, milk does seem to be an equally excellent option. For example, in a study published just a few years ago, researchers found that drinking whole milk stimulated muscle protein synthesis to a similar degree as whey protein. Interestingly enough, research shows that whole milk stimulates muscle protein synthesis better than skim milk, even when the whole milk contains less protein than the skim milk. So if you want to boost muscle growth and recovery, consider drinking whole milk instead of skim milk after your training sessions. You can even take some whey or casein protein powder and blend it with some whole milk after your workout. However, keep in mind that you may be better off with skim milk if you're cutting calories and trying to burn fat. Also keep in mind that the fat content of milk slows down the absorption rate. At this point, you should know that that's not a problem if you had protein before your workout, but you'll be better off with skim milk if you trained in a fasted state. Another high quality post-workout protein source can be found in eggs. Just like whey protein, they score very high in leucine, which like I already said, it's the most important amino acid for muscle growth. And on average, one egg has six grams of protein. That means that you'll only need about three to four eggs to meet the minimum of 20 grams of protein post-workout. Eggs are also an easy to consume protein source. You could simply boil a couple eggs and eat them right after you finish training. 
For most people, this is much more convenient than walking around with a Tupperware box with chicken breast or another source of protein. Now, a big myth that has stuck around thanks to old school bodybuilders is that it's best to eat or drink the eggs raw. And obviously, this wasn't recommended for taste, but instead, raw eggs were believed to be better post-workout for muscle growth when compared to cooked eggs. But luckily, you don't have to gag on raw eggs because it's actually not true. Research indicates that up to around 50% of raw egg protein is not absorbed or digested in the small intestine. So you would need about twice as much protein from raw eggs Eggs compared to cooked eggs. So you're better off cooking your eggs however you want, whether that's scrambled, sunny side up, or over easy. It's all better than raw. The next high protein food to have after a workout is salmon. Salmon is an excellent protein source containing about 20 grams of high quality protein per 100 gram serving, which is about the same as three and a half ounces. Salmon is also loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, and these fatty acids will definitely help after workout in a number of ways. This includes lowering cortisol, increasing testosterone, reducing muscle protein breakdown, boosting muscle protein synthesis, and increasing nutrient partitioning, which essentially helps the nutrients get to where they need to go. Salmon also pairs very well with garlic, and garlic contains allicin, which is a compound that may help reduce muscle soreness post-workout. Now, of course, other protein sources are good too, like chicken, beef, pork, as well as plant-based sources of protein for vegans and vegetarians like seitan, beans, and tofu. But other than protein, we also want carbs. Consuming carbs post-workout can have anti-catabolic effects, which means they help reduce muscle protein breakdown. Carbohydrates are able to do this thanks to the response that your body has to carbs, which is to increase insulin production. Most of you don't know that insulin actually suppresses muscle protein breakdown and to reap the maximum benefits, you'll have to trigger an insulin concentration of 11, 15, or 30 milliunits per liter, depending on the study that you look at. Now, that may not mean much to you, but if you eat, let's say, 100 grams of carbs after a workout, you'll spike insulin enough to reduce muscle protein breakdown after your workout. And that's according to a study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology. This is why many trainers recommend that you also have carbs post-workout. What they fail to realize, however, is that protein also increases insulin. In fact, research indicates that just 20 grams of protein is enough to exceed the insulin threshold to reduce muscle protein breakdown. So from that standpoint, yes, carbs are redundant for muscle growth and recovery as long as you already consume enough protein post-workout. But with that said, I still do believe it can be beneficial to consume carbs post-workout, especially if you're in a bulking phase, in which case you're trying to take in more calories anyway. The reason is because when you have carbs post-workout, it assists with muscle glycogen resynthesis better than consuming it at any other time of the day. For example, a study from the University of Texas found that there's a super compensation of glycogen stores when carbohydrates are consumed shortly after a workout. And delaying the consumption of carbs by just two hours reduces the rate of muscle glycogen resynthesis by as much as 50%. So for those of you that don't know, fully refilling your glycogen stores will help you have more strength and energy for your next workout. So while it's not necessary to consume carbs post-workout, it can be beneficial in some cases, especially if you train multiple times a day, in which case the faster glycogen resynthesis is highly beneficial. So one of the best carbs that you can have post-workout is tart cherry juice. Of all the carb-rich food sources that are available, it might just be the absolute best because it speeds up recovery. For example, multiple studies show that consuming tart cherry after resistance training reduces muscle protein breakdown and muscle soreness while speeding up recovery. That's pretty impressive for a relatively simple carbohydrate. One of these studies even concluded that tart cherries reduce muscle soreness, reduce strength losses during the recovery process, and they also reduce markers of muscle breakdown. Another great carb-rich alternative to tart cherry juice is watermelon juice, and it has its own range of benefits. In a study published in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, researchers found that giving athletes about two cups or 500 milliliters of watermelon juice helped reduce muscle soreness and heart rate recovery after 24 hours. So reducing heart rate recovery may sound like a bad thing at first, but it's actually a really good thing. Heart rate recovery refers to how long it takes to bring your heart rate back down to normal after stopping exercise. So the faster your breathing and heart rate return back to normal, the more fit you're considered to be. 
Part of what allows watermelon juice to have this effect is an amino acid found in watermelon known as L-citrulline. L-citrulline stimulates blood flow and that blood flow helps your body deliver amino acids to your muscles while simultaneously also helping your body clear waste products from your muscles like lactic acid, for example. Now, even though both tart cherry and watermelon juice contain carbs while also supporting recovery, there are other healthy carbs that are slower digesting, more filling, and they have more fiber. Oats are one of the best of these options. They contain about 66 grams of carbs per 100 grams of oats, which is a little more than a cup. This makes it a much more carb-dense food source than tart cherry and watermelon juice. On top of that, oats also contains a decent amount of protein. A 100 gram serving of raw oats will provide you with almost 17 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein for a carb source. But keep in mind that oats are not a great substitute for a high quality protein source like the ones that I've already gone over. Oats won't provide all the amino acids that you need, but if you're vegan, you can definitely combine oats with other sources to get your full spectrum of aminos. Next are bananas, and they happen to be an excellent source of electrolytes. It's beneficial to have electrolytes after workout because they get lost through your sweat and through your muscle contractions. For those of you that don't know, electrolytes are chemicals that have an electric charge in your body. Examples are sodium, magnesium, potassium, and chloride. So those electrolytes are very necessary for a wide range of bodily functions. These include muscle recovery and ensuring that your muscles can contract properly. This is why being deficient in one or more electrolytes can cause muscle cramping. So to prevent that from happening, it's important to take in enough electrolytes, especially after workouts where you're sweating a lot. One way you can do that is by eating bananas. One medium-sized banana supplies you with about 8% of your daily magnesium needs and 10% of your daily potassium needs. On top of that, a banana is a high-quality, fast-digesting carb source. One medium-sized banana will provide you about 28 grams of carbs. Of course, other than eating bananas, you also want to hydrate. And that brings us to the final thing that you definitely want to have post-workout, and that's water. Now, even though I'm mentioning this at the end, it doesn't mean it's any less important. Replenishing the fluids that you lost through your sweat is not only essential for your health, but also for your results. That's because dehydration reduces hypertrophy or muscle growth by lowering muscle protein synthesis while raising protein breakdown rates. To make matters worse, a study found that even a small 5% dehydration rate significantly reduced testosterone after resistance training while increasing cortisol and norepinephrine. So if you don't drink enough water, you'll actually hurt your gains. So make sure to drink enough water during and after your workout. That about wraps it up, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And if you'd like any extra help with planning a solid workout or a diet plan, or you just want a coach to help push you towards your goals, feel free to visit my website. We have programs that provide everything from a full video exercise library to recipe books and meal prepping strategies. Even if you don't want to take that next step and work with us, you can still head on over to the website and get your free macro-based plan for your body. To get there, you can click on the diet planner tool below in the description, or you can visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. See you guys soon.